Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're gonna be looking at this, which is the Aston Microphones Stealth Dynamic Cardioid Microphone. So what is this microphone? Well, this microphone's closest competitor is probably one of these, which is one of my favorite microphones, which is a Shure SM7B. A lot of people have a bit of a love-hate relationship with these microphones. For me personally, I love it. This microphone has got me out of so many situations where I would have had unusable recordings. So I'm a bit of a fan. So is this any better? Well, we're gonna be trying that out today. So let's give you some stats. So this microphone in the UK is 299 pounds. In euros, it's 339 euros. And in dollars, it's 379. So the SM7 in the UK, you can buy for about 350 pounds. But to make the SM7 sound any good, in my opinion, you have to get one of these things, which is called a Fethead. A Fethead or a cloud lifter, some other companies make these as well. Now these, are basically preamps, high quality preamps, that you can plug into the SM7 to boost the level and it actually, for my ears, it makes it sound cleaner. With the Stealth, what you can do with it is just to switch in phantom power and it's got an auto sensor in there which then instantly switches in this microphone into active mode. So basically, it's the same as having a cloud lifter or a fet head attached to it. Now when you switch that in, it gives it 50 dBs worth of gain. Now I think that's a crazy amount and <laughs> I don't know if I'd ever need 50 dB again, but that's what we're gonna be trying out today. Now, like the SM7B, you have some EQ modes on it. And with the Stealth, you've got four different modes. So if you twist this little ring down here, you can see it switches from vocal one, vocal two, G for guitar, and D for dark. So dark is, emulates like a ribbon microphone type of sound. G is for guitars and guitar cabs. V2 is for female vocals. It has a higher, high mid presence and V1 has a higher low mid presence. Now, I've been trying this mic over the past few days on a production that I've been working on and I had to record some backing vocals. And the fact that you can change from V1 to V2 gave me a massive palette of sounds that I could record. So instead of switching out different microphones so I got some different tones out of it, I could just switch the control down here. So what we're gonna to do today is to try it out on a couple of different sources and compare it to other microphones predominantly the SM7, just to see how it compares. So let's get to it. So don't forget to like and subscribe, uh, and thank you to everyone that's bought me a coffee. Really do appreciate it. If you wanna buy me a coffee, you can do in the link below. The first test we're gonna do is with a guitar. So I've got this plugged in front of my divided by 13 cabinet, and I'm gonna be using my divided by 13 RSA 23 amp head. Now I'm keeping the microphone on the V1 mode, which is actually the voice mode. Now me personally, I prefer this sound to the G mode, which is supposed to be the guitar mode, as I feel V1 is more like the sound that I'm hearing in the room. So let's have a quick listen to it. <laughs> Okay, let's switch it over to the G mode. And lastly, what we're gonna do is to put it on the dark setting, which is supposed to emulate how a ribbon microphone would sound. Now let's plug in the SM7B with the FET head to see how that sounds. I've set up the SM7B in exactly the same place as the Stealth mic with exactly the same preamp setting. I made a quick test recording just so I could match the levels. The Stealth mic is the yellow file and the SM7B 
is the red file. Now you'll see the difference in levels. This is with exactly the same preamp settings. So to get the same level as we're getting out the stealth mic, I've had to boost the SM7B by about 15 dB. Right, let's see how the SM7 sounds. <laughs> Okay, let's have a listen how this microphone sounds on a vocal and I'm using it right now. Now, the difference between, say like this microphone and an SM7B is the SM7B is really good at reducing plosives and that's because of the distance the capsule is from the grill of the microphone. So with a microphone like this, the capsule is much closer so we're gonna be getting a lot more plosives from it. And that's not a criticism because if I was recording any vocal in the studio, I would normally put a pop filter in front of it. So let's do that. So as I've said before, this microphone has four different settings on it. So we're on V1 at the moment, which Aston recommends as the male vocal sort of setting. So that is what I'm talking to you on now. Now, if I switch over to V2, now this is the V2 setting. Now what you'll instantly hear with this is how much the high mids have increased. And also the levels increased as well. It's got a lot louder. Right, let's switch over to G. Now G isn't really designed for vocals, but we're gonna switch it over anyway. Right, this is a G setting. As I said, it's not really designed for vocals. This is more for guitars. But also, as I've said, I still prefer the guitar going through the V1 setting. I think it sounds much more natural and like I hear it in a room. So this is the D setting, the dark setting, and it's supposed to emulate how a ribbon mic would sound. And as you can hear, it's got a lot more bottom end and the top end has been decreased. Lastly, what I'd like to do with this stealth microphone is to test out how good it can handle high dynamics. Now, what we're gonna do is to shake the tambourine into the Aston and also record it through the blue mic. And you can hear the difference. What I'm gonna to have to do with the blue mic and the Aston is to probably put a pad on them, but I'm gonna decrease them by the same amount and make sure the levels are the same. And you can hear how a dynamic microphone can handle that sort of dynamics. So hopefully you heard then how the condenser microphone couldn't really handle those high level transients that the Stealth could handle. The condenser microphones are fantastic for recording high detail information, things like vocals, guitars, strings in a studio. They sound brilliant and they're perfect for that. But if you have any situations where you're recording high level dynamics, I'd really recommend getting a high quality dynamic microphone like this Stealth for those parts. If I had to go and buy another high quality dynamic microphone, something like the Stealth or an SM7, I think the Stealth would win absolutely hands down. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.